Hello, Blender user. So, welcome back to our head sketch retopo. As you can see in this uh, first image, you will see that Blender is now into its beta version. And if you want to support, you go here, you support, and it's always good to keep the to keep the the, the 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 to support Blender and to keep to keep uh, the the help going and uh, the the software going forward. So here is our head where we left it last time, and I probably check some of the stuff. Uh, I probably kind of modified some of the uh, vertex here and then so to have more or less the same size in some places. So. And uh, the face now we are we are in the face that we want to unite the head and the ear. As you can see, they are not united. If you go here, you see the head has another is somewhere else. It has a is another mesh, and here as well is another mesh. Let just quickly hide this under the din topo head that is let's just hide it for a while so we are now we just have right now the head and the ear so let uh, how we will approach it there the idea is to have almost the same amount of vertexes as you can see with this selected the, this last loop vertex loop selected you'll see down here that we have 20 nine vertexes and if you select this one you go to edit mode no you select this one you go to edit mode you will see it's 19 so what we have to do is just to add more so that they will be they will have the same amount but first we have to join them to join them you select the head first and then you select the ear and you go control J and then when you control J you will see that it uh, it's not one only mesh if you go to edit mode you can see both of them they share the same actually in blender now you can you can no we don't talk about that you just it will just confuse more because I was thinking the thing like in Blender now you can edit two elements in the same side in the same in the same we can go in edit mode with two 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 meshes but the idea is not the idea is to unite them to put them in one mesh so yeah so this is what we're gonna do as I said already before we have more vertices here then here so the idea is just to show quick ways just to add more of the edge vertex loop we add the first cut here and then the second cut there and then one cut maybe two cuts here and you can see already we have uh, 23 so we can add maybe two cuts here and more cuts here let's see how much we have 27 so one cut more here 28 and then 29 if you look at it you see 29 and then if you select this one as well you see 29 simple as that and the next phase is just to marry them together. This is can be a little tricky, but nah, it's not tricky. You just pick and then you like you, you have to check first. The tricky part might be you have to check first if your vertices are well kind of like equally distributed. If it's not if they are not, then it, it can be a problem. It will be like here. You see, here I'm having like what one vertex here another vertex here another vertex there there's like three in this area but here i'm having only two vertex on the ear area on the ear side of the mesh so we have to figure out a way 
to manage them well so everybody got something hmm let me start with probably this one Control M I mean alt M and then merge it to the last when I do this one and then I do shift R I will be merging them to the last and make sure just like you select the head mesh last the head the vertex is that is the vertex that is in the edge mesh last let me go to with the Z key you can go to wireframe mode and then you can select this one and eh, no is it is it like yeah it's this one and that one alt m last this one and that one alt r uh, let's go back to solid mode yeah it's really going well we 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 not having yeah 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 things are working out good no no pressure this is something that i've been doing for so long oops control z alt m last the z uh pie menu solid has been on this side and wireframe has been on this side with this new one it's kind of like confusing me easily i'm, I'm changing easily to 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 that guy over there to the deck the uh look dev i'm changing easily to do look dev even though i want it in solid so this is something that i have to adapt i have to put myself I have just to relearn it. So we're gonna be doing this one for almost the rest. If it's kind of like this, you cannot see. Easy. You just go to wireframe. All the way till the last, like that one. It's hidden. As you can see, we're having this vertex here that we want to merge it here. And then this one, you merge it here. And this one, you merge it there. This one, you merge it there. This one, you merge it. Okay, just keep going on and on and on. Da -da. Yeah. Oops solid you see how they are not they kind of like look ugly yeah let me try to rearrange those so we will not have those mesh stretching like that what's wrong with you something I'm supposed to do and I didn't do was to select all these and then rotate them from this side you see only that but that's okay we will, we will find a way to to fix those those make them get married peacefully they don't have to bend like that when they are getting to know each other okay we keep on just the same thing this is just a boring repetition as i say as i said before this is something that you want to do and have your good playlist playing in the background just enjoying yourself and doing your thing so this is more or less about it's what we want to do and uh, jump quickly to sculpt mode this is my favorite mode so far smooth it out 
smooth those one smooth them out and then get the grab brush push them a little bit yeah, man. It's smooth. Push them. Yeah, yeah, I look ugly there. What is it? Mm. Let's go back here. Get this one. And get this. Oh, I just to, to activate this one. Disable. Enable. Proportional editing tool, and then reduce the hmm. Okay, we just do it by hand. Just doing hand job here. Manual labor. Ooh, -hoo. this is just too much of age going on in that area. Doesn't look good at all. This area looks straight like up. Don't look good. Let's make them look a bit different. Push them a little bit. Push this one as well a bit forward. And then push this one a bit back, push this one a bit up, and this one a little bit up, this one a bit back. can call this one okay it's done but since our loops were not really aligned it seems like it's bending uglily like this and we can just use the WJ WG to slide them to the position that we want so just like them where we want them to be. Hmm. Who's hiding there? Nobody. Back. How are you smoothing it like this, my friend? Yeah, I'm not really liking it much. But I can live with it. Yeah, no real kind of like a happy hundred percent. Let me just cut here. I feel like cutting this one here. Let me cut this one. This is just an improvisation that I'm doing. I I didn't like the way it's looking down there, so I I just decided that I have to improvise to do something differently so with the knife cut with key with the key 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 bring the knife cut and then just draw from here and there and then you will have let's merge this one last so we have some kind of loop it goes like this and then this one we close as well and this one, this one, this one. So we keep closing them. Again and again and again, the same thing just removing it. I don't know if you understand that I'm just trying to avoid to have this triangle there so all the way actually the 
another thing is to do with this and then dissolve age and then dissolve that one as well yeah that's actually an easy fast way to do it mm. see this is what I'm trying to do I'm trying to avoid to have those kind of like being hardly twisted like that the way it was so I'm friendly moving them so they will be more close to each other hmm what is this guy um, he has his friend there. So this is more or less ready. With this type of selection I'm doing select here and then control select the last one is the short short past select. You can see it's down there. You can see it's here. Most of the action that I'm doing they are down there. This is how they are named and it's easy for you as well to kind of like know what stroke I'm, I mean not stroke but what action I'm doing when doing this. Mm. So this is more or less ready. As you can see, I try to avoid those twists as much as I can. This is more or less the problem, the last bit problem. Just trying to align them. Hmm. Oops. And then another one here. I think this is just it's done already i will call it done it's just me trying to be what's kind of a perfectionist doing it's too much here yeah it's more like me just trying to go through it and try to have those things really align with the way i will think it's the right way to align them yeah now something we can do as well if you want really to have them in place you can come here and activate this din topo and then activate this guy and then keep doing your thing and then you should just like snapping now on that on that head so basically if you go to object mode now this is sculpt mode if you go to object mode you will see the head is there our head is there go to object and then smooth it this is our head without anything so now i'm thinking like probably next time i will give it some kind of like some kind of like body i mean like another because it's just a head now some kind of like a, a, a bust and see if we'll add other stuff as well so that was it some new stuff that we have here already can tell i can say um if you do control s to save it doesn't pop you don't see any 
confirmation message anymore like this it's just appearing down here down here we see saved head topology as well if you press x this is really uh, it's bringing a lot of question with people so if you press x to delete the model there is this confirmation which i like i think it's good to always have that but if you press the delete button you don't have anything yes of course you delete your mesh like that it's good when you're having a light scene like this you can just do ctrl z you have it back but if you have a heavy scene it can take some time to have that undo and blender can even crash so keep it simple keep it sweet let's keep blending ah this part i didn't give him depth ah, let's give it the depth i didn't remember that mm, hide the snap ex and then bring back the snap snap remove it and disable the proportion editing tool uh, something oh yeah i actually make my my user preference back to the control alt u it was just so it's just so into my brain that i can't live with it i just bring it back this this shortcut and yeah control alt u and uh, editing this is a from release and confirm yeah this is what i wanted because it just make me really fast. I move fast without release and confirm. I just move fast. I just grab something. Let's go this one again and put it to flat. I like working with flat so I will know how how where are my my where are my 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 vertexes. I like working with that. Uh, working with this like this. Mm. So we just give the eye uh, some some depth. This is kind of like annoying when you want to snap, and then you have you seeing that mesh there, the mesh that is here. You seeing it through some hole. It's it can be it's it's disturbing it does disturb me but i learn how i learn to live not to focus on that i just teach myself taught myself how not to focus on that yeah so we will leave it like this because the last part when i will be extruding this part a bit further it's when i will have the eye when i will have the eye there then i know how i will extrude it so that the eye and the head mesh doesn't they fit together well they kind of like stuck together well and that's probably in the next tutorial so nothing else has to do here keep blending and to do the youtube the social media thing like share spread the word subscribe you know try to do something on my free time and try to to share things that I learn for free okay thank you very much and happy blending bye bye